Camp Rafael T. Crame is the national headquarters of the Philippine National Police PNP, located along Epifanio de los Santos Avenue EDSA, in Quezon City. Formerly the national headquarters of the Philippine Constabulary, Camp Crame is across EDSA from Camp Aguinaldo, the national headquarters of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP. It was named after the first Filipino chief of the Philippine Constabulary, Brigadier General Rafael Creme. History As early as the 1930s, military facilities were set up in Quezon City, among them Camp Murphy, now Camp Aguinaldo, and Camp Crane. Named after the first Filipino Brigadier General of the Philippine Constabulary PC, Rafael Crane, the camp was where the general strike force of the PC was organized under Brig. General Guillermo Francisco in 1939. Camp Crane had been used as the headquarters of the Philippine Constabulary, which service command was then considered part of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP. A major detention area during the Marcos dictatorship, Camp Crane became one of the rallying points of people during the EDSA Revolution of 1986. Today, the camp serves as the headquarters of the Philippine National Police, the force established in 1991 as an entity separate from the AFP. Despite the separation, however, the titles to the land on which Camp Crane stands were turned over to the PNP by the AFP only in July 2008. The camp is currently undergoing renovation, starting with the renovation of the PNP Multipurpose Hall and the camp's swimming pool. There are also plans for the construction of a multi-story building along the EDSA side of the camp to house the administrative offices of the PNP, as well as commercial establishments for the general public. Several high-profile personalities have been detained at Camp Crane in recent years, among them deposed President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. The ongoing trial for the Maguindano massacre is also held in a courtroom inside the camp, where primary suspect Datu Unsay Mayor Andal Ampatuan Jr. is being detained. Australian Muslim preacher Musa Sarantonio was held here at one point during his deportation from the Philippines. As of March 2017, Senator Leila de Lima, former chair of the Philippine Commission on Human Rights, was being held here, charged with taking bribes from drug dealers. Current operations in April 2011, the post was recognized by the National Historical Commission. A marker was placed on the facility with the presence of former President Fidel Ramos. References